request from Thomas J. Ware, and it's about the perfect breakoff shot. Now I put the cue ball in between yellow and brown, slightly closer to the yellow, because I'm hitting the end red of the five, and I want to get a slightly thicker contact on that red to play with right hand side of three, maybe four cushions, trying to get the cue ball tight and ball cushion behind the green. today comes from Alec underscore Bragger 99 and it's about how to get the best bridge hand when the cue ball is in the jaws of the corner pocket. Now this is obviously a very tricky shot. Um, I mean any bridge hand that can get you give you a solid base is good but what I tend to do is I try and get two fingers here to kind of grip the leather of the pocket. This finger here is on the cushion so that's you know as long as you grip that quite tight and normally your bridge hand your thumb would be touching this finger but here you can't do that. I prefer to put my thumb at the back of the pocket. So as long as you've got at least two fingers gripping around the pocket, it should give you a solid base, a solid bridge hand to be able to deliver the cue in a smooth way. Cue tip request today from at harry.lake and it's for a long potting drill. Now I've set one up here for you. There's three different types of long pot we're going to practice here. This red we're going to play first. We're going to play this a kind of a shot to nothing, which is a stun round of the angles. The middle one, we're going to play with top spin off one cushion, so that's another type of long pot that you need to know. And the last one, once you've pot the first two, is set up for a straight red, as if you were stunning for the black. So we'll play the outside one first, as I said. This is a shot to nothing, stun with some left hand side. That's the first out of three, once you've potted that one. Next one topspin, last one straight for the black. Cue request today comes from at Nathan Pinto and it's potting the black with topspin off two cushions following through the cue ball. We need to play the shot here because you can see there's one red left. We're going to play for the red into this middle pocket. So to do that, because we're, you know, we're off straight the wrong way, we can't screw back because the screw back will take the cue ball here and it's, to be, it's, it's a lot more difficult shot than what we're going to play. The one we're going to play, we're going to play with top spin, as I said, left hand side. We need to make sure we hit positively and smoothly through this shot. The running side takes effect of two cushions on the red. That's the proper way to play that shot. 